Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I am thinking about the days getting longer and spring is on the horizon and that is the time when I am not out in the garden but I'm inside and I'm evaluating how my plants are doing. And I have to say, I think this dish garden needs a repot. It probably is in three-year-old soil and it is almost reduced by half. You can see how compacted it's become. It's very dry. I do water this regularly, lightly but regularly, but you have to give a shout out to these succulents. Um, most of them, I believe, are Haworthia and Aloes. Um, that have survived in these conditions. I mean, this soil really looks completely devoid of any nutrients. So what I'm gonna do is basically remove the, everything from the soil, add in some new soil, and I'm gonna put worm castings on top, and hopefully, by the time this plant wants to start growing in the spring, it's gonna have all the tools it needs and all the nutrients in that soil and it'll be ready to go. So as usual, I have gotten kitchen utensils. I've raided the kitchen and I think I'm just gonna deconstruct this dish garden and I'm gonna pot it right back in here. This was a bowl that I got, a big bowl I got from one of the dollar stores and I just put the holes in it and um, let's get started. I'm just gonna take it out and give it a soil refresh basically. And let's see how they're doing. Some of them I'm sure are not doing so well. But again, look, look, they've survived in some pretty terrible soil. Now look at this, this is just horrible. All my fault, not much of a root system there. And I also have this one. This might be an aloe Haworthia hybrid. It might be a mix. And it's been in this tiny little pot. It's very small, very root bound for a long time. And it's doing okay, but I may want to fill out some more plants in here. So I'm going to keep those to the side and decide at the end if they belong in there. This one really looks dried out. Look at this, the roots are dry, everything's dry. It's funny, the center of the pot does seem to hold more moisture. I'm even gonna tear off some of those and we'll see if we can get it to root better. If I take off some of these lower ones, maybe the stems will even send out roots if I bury it a little deeper. We'll have to see. Let's just clean it up. Everything's getting a good clean up and new soil, a new lease on life. Actually, I'm gonna keep half of it. I think I'm gonna keep half of it at the bottom here. And this is holding moisture, so it might be a little bit of a better mix at the bottom for some reason. And I probably won't reuse that soil for anything else. It'll just go out into the garden and go back to nature. So let me show you what I've got here. And I think this would be nice for the base of the dish garden. It's a very, it's full of a lot of um, chicken grit. So I think that'll be good drainage at the bottom of my arrangement. So I'm basically just gonna put in this cactus and succulent mix. But um, this is cactus palm and citrus potting mix. So um, it's designed to be well drained. And a lot of times they'll put a little bit of fertilizer in, but, and I see a few, few pellets of her, for fertilizer. But that is some nice fresh soil for it to live in. I'm mixing a little bit of that other soil up into it. So those bacterial cultures will be familiar to the plant. All right, so I think I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start with this big one. Look, it just comes right out here and it really needs a lot more soil. So that's gonna be my centerpiece. And that's been living on the back of my sink in my kitchen with absolutely no natural light whatsoever. It's just a fluorescent light. And then I think, let's see, I'm gonna pick the best looking plants first 
place those and then tuck in some of the other ones. So I'll just put this one uh, over here. And they don't have to be buried too deep, guys, because there's not a lot of roots here. So I'm just really, really propping it up with some soil here. The fresh soil. And I don't bother with my own mixes anymore. I just think that the, I leave it to the professionals. I'll, I'll add some things in from time to time. This is a nice aloe with hardly any roots at all, but I'll put that over here. So I'm putting my best aloes and Haworthias back. And um, they're both succulents, and aloes and Haworthias have very similar needs. So they should do well together. They've done well up until this point. Some of these really look dried out. I am going to plant this. Look, this all of the roots are coming off. But I think if I tuck that way down and bury it up to the stems here, I have a feeling that part will send out roots. And this whole little plant will be refreshed. So let's see if we can achieve that. Some of these things are not going to make the cut, guys. This one is going to make the cut. It doesn't look great, but I'm pretty sure it's going to rebound for us. So let me pop it in. And I'm burying that stem deep because I want the stem to root out. Um, with succulents, they will root out along the stem if they're touching soil. Let's see. I think I'm going to move this one and add this over here with its with its brothers and sisters. Oh, here's another wonderful little aloe. This is this is a relative of this one. I'll pop it in over here. So, you know, it's all about just adding in things wherever you think they look good. I hope you guys like repotting videos. I know they can be a lengthy process. I think we're done. So we have removed just really one aloe. I think the rest will be fine. And I think that's looking a lot better. I don't want to tip it too much, but look guys, I certainly feel a lot better about that. I feel like I'm actually taking care of these poor plants. And hopefully they will appreciate the new soil refresh. Sometimes you can just shake it or tap it and it'll sort of settle that dirt in. Ultimately, I'm adding a little more dirt. Ultimately, the thing that will really settle it in will be to water it. And I'm going to do that sometime next week. Because I don't want to water anything with freshly damaged roots. That is a recipe for disaster. I hope the plants are okay. It is 40 degrees out today. Certainly not good good weather for succulents but you know it feels so balmy it's all relative when it's been in the teens I think we're ready guys I think we are ready give it a tap that looks so much better I'm so much happier about that and it is still down in there my last finishing touch is going to be to sprinkle some of the worm castings on top and this is going to be a nice slow release way to fertilize it and um, very natural. I'm just going to sprinkle that around some of the plants here on top and I think I'm going to be, well depending on how well these plants respond to the worm castings, I think this is going to be something I do. Just put that in the top of the soil there and it'll work its way down when I water it. But I just think it's going to benefit Sometimes I don't think these soil mixes have very much in the way of nutrients. They're just mass produced and they might have a nice texture but not necessarily expensive fertilizing ingredients. So let's see how the plants like that with worm castings on top of my cactus and succulent mix. So guys, we're all finished here. Here we go. 
I feel so much better about that. And this is just the kind of thing I like to do in the winter, is get ready for spring, get my house plants ready so that they have the nutrients they need when they want to wake up from a long winter's nap. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.